Hello and welcome. This is April Ray with the introvertmogul.com. Thank you so much for joining me. So really quick, I wanted to do a video about pixels because they are so essential to a marketer's business. They do so many wonderful things. Facebook provides what we call a pixel that can be placed on all of your web pages. And it's similar to when you go over to um, Amazon and you're clicking around, looking at stuff, buying stuff, and then you go off of Amazon and you're on another site and all of a sudden you see stuff that you clicked on and that you, you know, that you were getting ready to buy. So it's the same concept. And this is what makes Facebook so powerful because you're basically able to market like a expert, market like a pro, market like all of the big companies out there. So even if you don't plan or you haven't started doing Facebook ads, even if you're afraid of doing Facebook ads, at some point, believe me, you're gonna start getting acclimated to the idea, you're gonna take some training and you're gonna wanna do it. In the meantime, you want that pixel to be warmed up. You wanna have that pixel already placed on your websites. And I'm gonna show you how to do that. I'm gonna show you where to find your pixel. And I'm gonna show you a cool plugin that you can use to make it super easy to plug it in on your WordPress site, all right? So here we go. I'm in my Facebook business page and you have to have a business page in order to make this happen. You can't use your profile page. So I'm going to go up to where this little arrow is, this uh, triangle, and I'm gonna hit create ads or manage ads. I'm gonna actually hit manage ads. If you've never done ads, then hit create ads. And it's gonna show my name because I am the owner of this account and I'm gonna click on my name and then I am going to go to where these little, three little lines are right here. I'm gonna click on that. Now, normally when you click on it, it's gonna have your most frequently used uh, sites, um, Pixel Audience Insights and Power Editor. Um, if you don't have this yet, you're gonna go down to All Tools to find your Pixel. You're gonna go over to Assets and then hit Pixel. Now, once you get in here, if, you've, if, you're, if you have a nice warm pixel that's already been active and used, you're gonna find your analytics back here. Um, but in order to get your pixel, you're gonna go over to the right-hand side and click Setup. And what you want to hit is Copy and Paste Code. And what you're gonna see is the first thing that comes up. Let me scroll down here a little bit. This is copy the entire pixel base code and paste it in the website header. Now it seems complicated. You don't need to learn what the code means or how it works. You don't need to know any of that. Just click to copy, right? And then you'll get that little green sign with a check that says it's copied. And you're gonna go over to your web pages. Now I'm gonna go over to my WordPress account, my WordPress page first. I'm gonna click over here. I'm already in my plugin, my WordPress back office on my plugins page. And the plugin that I'm, in, I'm using for this is called AdFunk, <laughs> F-U-N-C, Head and Footer Code. So you're just gonna install that and you can Google on how to install plugins if you've never done that before, it's not that difficult. And I'm gonna go over to my settings so I can find that. It says header footer code here. I'm gonna click on that. So once you download that, pic, or that plugin, it's gonna take you to the, you're gonna to go to your settings and you're gonna to go to header footer code and you're gonna see this little uh, doohickey here. It's very simple page. You're just gonna put it site-wide head code and you just paste it right in there, the whole thing. You don't have to alter it, you don't touch it. You just click and paste right in here and then hit save changes. Now it's site-wide, so it's on every page on my website, my blog posts, my regular static pages, my about me page, my resource page, everything. It's tracking anybody that comes onto that page. All right, so the next place that I'm going to put it in is my uh, landing pages and my thank you pages. Um, if you, I'm using ClickFunnels. If you have something like lead pages, it's also very easy to do. You just Google lead pages and find out the header footer code area. Um, to do that. So I'm going to go over, this is my one of my funnels, and you're going to put it on every single page of your funnel. So if I go over to my entrance funnel, I'm going to hit entrance and then I'm going to hit my edit the page and let that load. And I'm going to go over here to settings and I want to go to tracking code. 
Right now it's already in, but normally you would just, it would be blank, and all you need to do is click and paste. And that's it. You don't even have to hit the save button. Well, you can. I always hit the save button no matter what I do. Anytime I make an action, I hit the save button. So hit save, and then you hit exit, and then you go on to the next page. Um, this is my thank you page or my countdown page. This is where, um, well, actually, I'm not going to go into that because there's other really cool things that you can do with that code um, to make it even more efficient for tracking. So the same thing, go to settings, go to tracking code, and you should have your click and paste it, your code there. Not the footer, but the header code, okay? So that's it. That's my quick tip for today. The reason why you want to have a Facebook code uh, pixel on all of your sites is so that you can track your audience. You can also create custom audiences as your pixel warms up more and you get more traffic to your sites. Uh, it's just an amazing opportunity for just the little guys like us to market like a boss, okay? So that's it. If you enjoyed this uh, little tip, go ahead and subscribe to my YouTube channel if you're watching this from there. Leave a comment. Tell me if you got any value out of what I've been sharing with you today, and I will see you on the next video. Bye-bye for now.